That's right, his court battles may be done, but his problems aren't over. We've got the latest on Adrian Peterson's troubles and USC's take on them. And the Trojan basketball season doesn't officially kick off until next week, but there's an exhibition game ahead. Hear about it next. It's a record-setting season for men's golf. We caught up with one of the top Trojans on the team. ATVN Sports is coming your way. Welcome back to ATVN. It's exhibition time. This Saturday, USC men's basketball hosts CSULA in a preseason exhibition matchup. This is the Trojans' first exhibition game in four years, and they're excited to get on the court. We checked in with the team earlier today. Just been working hard all spring and summer to, uh, to get ready for this game. So, uh, opening game uh, in front of you know our fans in, in, in LA. So, just very excited to get it started. We just play together, you know. You're going to see a lot of extra passes and stuff. And uh, just real good team offense and defense. This season, the Trojans have a young team. Of the 14-man roster, 11 are freshmen or sophomores. And the remaining three are seniors, who averaged 11 points per game last season. Scouts ranked USC's freshman class at number 12. Saturday's matchup will be the season opener for the Golden Eagles, but the Trojans will have to wait until November 15th when they open their season against Portland State. Things are heating up on the green. The men's golf team wrapped up the Gifford Collegiate Championships with great results. The Trojans came in 12 under, and senior Paul Smith finished third, a USC career best. We caught up with Smith earlier today about his team. The team this year compared to last year is definitely, I would say, stronger, and we have some guys that aren't playing, but have potential to uh, definitely contribute for the next few tournaments. So we'll see how it turns out in the, for our next tournament. So we're looking, we're looking forward to it. USC's performance at the Gifford Championship is a nice way to end 2014. The team has a long winter break until February when they head to Hawaii for the Ameri Aria Invitational. ESPN's commentator Bill Simmons sounded off on Mike and Mike today after the Mikes criticized Simmons' comments on the Cavaliers' not-so-great start. Simmons felt the Mikes took his words out of context and he went to Twitter for his response. Simmons said, what Mike and Mike did today was absolute garbage. I would say I lost respect for that show, but I never had it. Mike and Mike said they've spoken with Simmons since the tweets and they'll discuss it tomorrow on their show. Hopefully they were able to make amends. If you recall, Simmons is coming off of a three-week suspension for on-air comments he made against Roger Goodell back in September. Adrian Peterson may not be returning to the field anytime soon. The NFL was reviewing his case for potential discipline. The Minnesota Vikings running back has missed eight games already, and he's been out since his arrest for child abuse charges in September. He just pleaded to a lesser offense this past Tuesday. We asked USC students if they think the NFL should let Peterson return. His current absence was still a paid leave, and I think they really need to at least make sure he doesn't play this season. I'm kind of just tired of hearing about it, to be honest. Uh, which I think a lot of people are. So I think it would kind of just make sense if they just, you know what, just put him on hold for us this season. The NFL hasn't said when they'll rule on Peterson's case, but Ray Rice's appeal just concluded today, and the outcome could have an effect on Peterson's punishment. Thursday Night Football is kicked off in Cincinnati. Tonight's a big division matchup between the Bengals and the Browns. The outcome could knock the Bengals off of the top of the AFC North. But one little person isn't concerned about the outcome. She's just excited to be there. Four-year-old Leah Still left the Children's Hospital in Pennsylvania to come to Ohio to cheer on her dad, Devin Still, a Bengals defensive tackle. Leah made national news that she's fighting a rare cancer. Her story has raised money for pediatric cancer research and treatment. During tonight's game, the Bengals will present a $1 million donation to the cause. The team's also donating proceeds from the sale of Devin's jerseys. Let's check in on the game. The NFC North is in a tight race right now. The Browns are ahead 14-3. Andy Dalton threw a pick six in the first quarter. All right. Thank you so much, AJ.